Mental illness is the common denominator in this exhibit whose creator's mission is to destigmatize the disease by putting a face on it. The White Shirt Project on display at the Mott Haven Bar and Grill for a one night only showing and reception is a series of black and white photographs by creator and photographer Jose Ramon, who was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and depression. And in search of healing from his diagnosis, the project was born. So as I share this with the models and I explain my story, um, the mood change. So now all of a sudden I'm bringing you into my world. I want to show you where I'm at. I knew a lot of other people need to heal, and they were living in the shadows. So as I came out and I started exposing what was happening to me, it gave way for other people to do the same. The photographs feature models with varying experiences with mental health and different backgrounds and orientations, all wearing a white button-up shirt against a black backdrop, which the artist says has many meanings. It's the light and darkness, that, that contrast, the yin and the yang. Um, so it means it means different things to different people. To me, it means birth and death. At times proving to be difficult, the models shared their personal stories surrounding mental health that were also on display along with each photograph. Trying to talk about the stigma of mental health and how we should not be embarrassed if we want to be healthier as an individual. We have to study what our trauma was, look at it, and then let it go. That was the first photo of this whole thing. So it means a lot to me to be here to see all this. I'm trying not to cry. Um, because people need to understand mental illness is real. And that people need to be aware of it. The event was hosted by Bronx Net's own La Reina del Barrio, Rina Valentin, who was also tapped to model for the exhibit. While Valentin says she's never been diagnosed as mentally ill, it was crucial for her to participate. It's an important dialogue that needs to be opened. Uh, we are dealing with um, a silent disease, and I, I just feel that putting the community's faces on mental health awareness, and I'm going to stay on the positive side, right? It's important so that we can all relate and just have a conversation about it. The conversation also included the lack of discussion surrounding mental health in communities of color. Minorities and people of color, we don't talk about it. We're told not to talk about it. And this is why my picture, if you notice, is shh, you know, because that's exactly what it was all about. You don't tell, you don't talk, you don't let anybody know what's going on with you. You know, you have to keep it a secret. Though the White Shirt Project features mostly models of color, that wasn't the intention. However, the hope is that the exhibit will bring about discussion in communities of color and beyond. I hope that this project goes more than just within the community that we're in right now. I hope that we can share the word and say that mental illness does not define you and there is a face that once you peel that label off, okay, there's a face behind that. The White Shirt Project doesn't currently have a permanent home, but the project can be seen online at www.genoteentertainment.com forward slash the White Shirt Project. Reporting for BronxNet, I'm Naomi Yanni.